Hello people. <laughs> did you hear what song it was? I think you did. <laughs> it is uh, Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now. But I saw someone write Nothing Gonna Stop Us Now. But I think it's Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now. Right below, right down below. Yeah. <laughs> right down in the comments what is the right title. I think it's Nothing's. <laughs> so is this really the best solo of 1987? I almost think so. And if you think otherwise, please drop a comment below and uh, tell me what the f your favorite solo is, because I would love to hear it. <laughs> and maybe I can do a cover of it, who knows? But I think it's time to um, have a little guitar lesson now, <laughs> so we can see what's under the hood of this solo, so to speak. Let's go people. Record, not record with click, just record. <laughs> so hopefully you can see, see me quite uh, good now, because I, as you can see, if you have followed the channel for a while, I have changed room. <laughs> I have actually moved. So um, yeah, I have a tiny room now. I'm probably gonna do a little, uh, what do you say? Home studio tour, small home studio tour, <laughs> compact studio tour. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not uh, completely done in here because I, I have ordered some stuff. So I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna do uh, most of this space. So uh, I'm sorry if the video isn't, uh, top tier <laughs> it's going to be in a few weeks it's gonna be really great so uh, yeah you need to just um, live with that and i need to live with that i hope that's okay so yeah uh, let's break this solo down shall we so uh, they do a smart little key change right before the solo so then they they go from i think is it f to g or something the solo is in G major. <laughs> wait, wait, just let me have a quick listen. I can, I can see if it is that. So <laughs> they do a smart little key change. They go from fifth F sharp major to G major when the solo hits, so it gets a little more. Boom, you know, the 80s, <laughs> more is more. Or as Ingrid say, more is more. Do it, more is more. The whole solo is based on the G major pentatonic and G major scale. So it starts here on the 12th fret. And then we have a nice uh, pedal point. No, Pe no, what the fuck? What the fuck, I have forgot to record. I said I was going to record, but uh, I forgot it. Sorry guys. <laughs> Let's take it from the beginning. I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. So, we start here on the 12th fret and you bar the G and the B string. Like this. I don't know if it bars the D string as well. Uh, I can't really hear it on the recording, but I don't think it really matters because um, uh, in the mix, you don't gonna hear it anyway, I think, because this is the, the difference. Yeah, maybe you heard the difference, but maybe it is all three. It can be, but uh, you need to listen for yourself. <laughs> and then he does this. So all the small nuances is really important, as I said before. You know, with the when they leave space, when he he leaves space between the notes like this. You know, and that you're accurate on the on the notes as well. You know, that's important too. And then we come to a pedal point lick, and uh, that's really I really like pedal point lick. You know, it's it, it sounds like this. So it's based, it's it's based on the G major scale, or if you if you know the E minor scale, that's the same scale. So if you know the E minor or the E minor pentatonic, you know it's the same as G major uh, pentatonic. So if you know one of them, you know both. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, uh, pedal point, Nick, like this on the D string, and then you just pick. So that's like a blue note bend, you can say, because I heard many people get this wrong. They they don't do the bend. They just 
mm. like that, you know, and that's not right. The right thing to do is like this. You know, as you, you bend it a little bit before you do the vibrato. Like that. So that's also really important. And one other thing that is really important is that you have to mute the D string when you do the pedal point like this. You know, because it, I think it does it even more staccato than that, you know, with the short note. So if you want to be exact, you need to listen to the original, <laughs> of course. But, you know, I, I think I came pretty close. So, yeah, you need to do that very staccato with the, on, on the D string on the pedal, pedal point lick. So from the beginning, it sounds like this. And, and you know, the start um, solo on the two, so one, two. And that's uh, pretty common to do if you want, uh, you know, a little bit of surprise, <laughs> you know, so one. And then, so that's just, and then, and then you, you bend the first one, not all the way, and then you just keep on going, so to speak, like this. Or no, maybe you just go straight up to the right note, like to that note. And then you go a little bit uh, further after a little while, like this. Uh, I can take it from... Uh... So that's really important as well. Everything here is important. The whole solo is important because uh, he wrote, he, it's very well written, you know, so... And that, you do, that one is short, the last one. So you just end it, like, pretty abruptly. And then we have a little... Um, you can say this is... It sounds like uh, minor, because if we have... If we have, if the song went in E minor instead of G major, it would have been correct. <laughs> That's why it sounds almost like minor. So the lick is like this. So many people get that wrong as well because you need to bend this note a little bit before you you hit the E string, the G string. That's really important as well. And then the ending lick. So that's just like this. And then... <laughs> I really like this solo. It's very well written. <laughs> if you're interested to get this sound, at home. I have this sound at Buy Me A Coffee down below. Uh, it's for Helix users. So if you have a Helix, feel free to go in and buy it. It's uh, cheap and it's uh, in, and it's gonna be free for members. So if you're a member of Buy Me A Coffee, you're gonna get this preset for free. Uh, yeah, and in the end I just had, um, you know, in the end of the solo, I did, uh, it, was it a C? sharp 11 type of sound and then I just uh, improvised in G major you can just improvise in G major if you have a C no Would you like to hear next? Comment below and I hope to see you in the next one.